Hey, this is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. We're going to bring you another video. This one is going to be about firearm safety, which is one of the most important things that you can cover, especially with new hunters, uh, new shooters. It's really important to know how to handle that gun safely so nobody gets hurt. So this is my friend Chris. Uh, we've known each other for 32 years now, I believe. Something like that. Long time. Chris is the person we've brought along to actually go over the four safety rules for firearms because he's had a lot of experience in firearms training and firearms handling. He was actually a Marine for four years. So uh, we wanted to bring him in and have him explain these rules to us. What's the number one rule for gun safety? The number one rule and probably the most important rule that there is to gun safety is you treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Like Marty said, we've been friends for 32 years. Uh, he hands me a weapon and says, hey, it's cleared. No, it's not. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna make sure that the, uh, that the bolt is pulled back on this and I'm going to visually and physically inspect this rifle to make sure that it's cleared before I even hand it over to him. And knowing Marty for as long as I have, he's going to check that as well, just to make sure that I'm not handing him a loaded weapon. And by physically, you would not only visually look at it, but you would physically check and see if there's something in there. Right, abs absolutely. Okay. And it's always best to use the buddy system on something like this. Uh, there's been multiple times where Marty and I have gone out uh, waterfowl hunting, rabbit hunting. Uh, even before we get in the vehicle, when we unload our weapons, I've always checked his to make sure that there was uh, no ammunition in it. He's checked mine. We both know it's safe to put those back in the vehicle. Anytime you're storing weapons, um, a lot of people will store weapons loaded. I actually would definitely highly recommend not doing that. That's probably one of the biggest ways that kids get shot in the house. Somebody picks up a gun, they assume that it's not loaded, and the next thing you know somebody's been hurt or even killed. That's a good tip. So that's rule number one for firearm safety. Always double check to make sure that the gun is unloaded and always treat it as if it is loaded. Okay, uh, what's rule number two? Rule number two is never let the muzzle or your barrel of your firearm uh, cover anything that you're not willing to destroy. You should always make sure that you're aware of where your muzzle um, is at at all times, be it pointed at the ground or when you're out hunting in the field, you have it slung and you're always aware of where it's at at all times. So like when somebody's going to pull that gun off in the excitement, they've got to really pay attention that they're not going to swing that gun around past their friend looking at a pheasant that's flushing and, and having that barrel pointed right at their friend's head then. Right, absolutely. One thing I've noticed too on uh, trips, since you mentioned that, is a lot of times when we're out hunting a group of guys together, one person will inevitably have the gun on a sling on his shoulder, will be so focused on what they're doing and we'll turn around to bend over. I'm gonna point this way for safety, but we'll turn around to bend over to get something and not pay attention to the fact that his barrel's actually turned and pointing towards one of his fellow hunting partners. So uh, always having that gun barrel in mind throughout the entire trip is extremely important. Even when it comes to taking your gun off of your shoulder, getting ready for a shot, sometimes people loosely take it off and swing it around like that. Always make sure that you take it off carefully and keep it up or, you know, down depending on what the situation is so it's not pointed towards anybody during that moment. Okay, so rule number two then, never let the muzzle cover anything that you're not willing to destroy. Uh, how about rule number three? Rule number three, and this is, you know, just as important as all of them. Uh, you always want to keep your weapon on safe and your finger straight and off of the trigger until you are up on your target with the intention to shoot it. You never want to take your, your safety off until you're up on your target and then you'll want to go ahead and release your safety and then pull your trigger. And another thing I'll mention on that point uh, with us hunting together all the time, it's also important to make sure after your, your safety comes off for your shot that you put it back on safe. We've always had a habit of asking ourselves almost to the point that it gets a little bit annoying to each other, but we still continue to do it. As soon as we have a, a volley of shots with some ducks coming in or something like that, one of us will say to the other, is your safety back on? We'll double check it right then. And it's amazing how many times when you're first getting used to that, trying to make a habit, how many times when that person asks you, is your safety back on? You'll look back down and see that your safety is off and it's actually ready to fire again. All right, so rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger 
and safety on until you are actually aimed on your target and ready to shoot. So how about rule number four? Rule number four is you always want to be aware of your target and its surroundings. A lot of hunters do get uh, tunnel visioned, uh, get that buck fever when, when that big buck comes strolling through and you might not be paying attention to uh, that other hunter walking the wood line six, seven hundred yards away. Also another thing, how about if they're skylined, if you've got a deer that's just crested a hill, you know, a lot of people will try and take that shot. Uh, that's that's not really a good idea because you never know what's exactly behind that deer, what's, what's on the other side of that crest. You never want to take that risk, it's not safe. So, you know, if you've got a great shot on a deer, but it's not completely safe, you don't know exactly what's behind it, it's always better to let that deer go a little bit longer, see if you can get him you know, an extra 20 yards to where he's into a safer area to shoot than to go ahead and take that shot. And it's not worth the risk of hurting somebody behind there. All right, cool. So that's our top four firearm safety tips. We really appreciate you coming in and explaining that. And it's hopefully that'll problem. keep some people safe. And we also appreciate your service. Thank you. So hopefully this video helps keep everybody safe and enjoying what they do out there. And it's a good lesson to teach to kids when they're first getting started. Uh, probably the utmost important lesson you can teach a kid if they're wanting to get into shooting or hunting. Uh, start off with safety first and then you can teach them all the other good things later on. So hopefully this video helps and if you, know, you have any comments or questions or things that you think we missed, feel free to leave them in the comments section below and please subscribe and we'll keep more videos coming for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. High five. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just, I'm going to stop it and I'm going to start it again. We'll That's right. You are the sign that says 20 rings for $100. We're going to give you 30. That's right. 30 rings for $100.